David, there is no one else that fits with Mercedes so perfectly. I knew that in college when you were dating, but you confirmed that when hard times hit our family. I've seen the love that he holds for her, and it's probably the dearest love I've ever seen. He's managed to do what any man could wish for also, and that's to marry someone who is truly his best friend. I, David, take you, Mercedes, to be my wife. I, Mercedes, take you, David, to be my husband. I'm so honored that you asked me to be by your side today. Because we all know who should be here giving this speech. And I know she's here in spirit, but I so wish Marquis could be here to see that big smile on your face. If you know me at all, you know I adore my girls. And we've been blessed with the greatest two daughters that heaven could, could give us. And I know Marquis would be so proud. To have a doll. For better, for worse, for richer, for poorer. To love and to cherish. In sickness and in health. To death and to part. I'm thankful for him and I'm thankful that she's in good hands. We love you, David, and we're glad you're part of the family. I can imagine nothing less than a long life of love and laughter between these two. Now, with that being said, I hope the best for you too, and the greatest level of happiness. Good luck, Mercedes.
So to the husband and the wife, may you be lovers for life. So if you'll raise your glasses to David Mercedes, dilly dilly. Dilly dilly.